Good day, Grade 3. Our lesson for today is about electricity. In this lesson, we are going to find out what are the sources of electricity, what are the uses of electricity, and last but not the least, how can we use electricity wisely and safely. Let us have the sources of electricity. Electricity can come from batteries or an electric power station. Let us first have batteries. A battery contains chemicals. This battery has a positive terminal and a negative terminal. When both terminals are connected, the chemicals inside the battery will react to produce electricity. So, we can see that the battery is a source of electricity. Here are some examples of batteries around us. Batteries used in headphones, in laptops, in toys, and in cars. Other than batteries, we get electricity from electric power stations. In the power stations, generators produce electricity. Okay, so we have here a diagram of a power plant. Okay, the first one, we have a boiler. Okay, in the boiler, water is boiled. And if the water boils, it will produce steam. That steam will make a turbine turn. This turbine is connected to a generator. Okay? As the turbine turns, the generator spins and produces electricity. And then this electricity travels through cables and into our homes. So, did you get how a power station works? Very good. Because you do, let us have a short review about it. So, again, a boiler will boil water and it will produce steam. And then that steam will make a turbine turn, which is connected to a generator. And that generator will spin and it will produce electricity. So, did you get it? Very good. So, so can you repeat it? Very well said. We get electricity produced in power stations by plugging equipment into an electrical socket. These are examples of electrical socket. And because of that, let us have a quick check. Okay, let us have the first one. What is the source of electricity of a flashlight? Who wants to answer? Yes, you. What's your answer? A battery. Very good. Next, how about the radio? Yes, you. Okay, your answer is battery. Okay, how about you, the other one? Electrical socket. Okay, let's check who among you are correct with your answer. There are radios that have batteries, while others are electrical radios. Next, electric kettle. Yes, you, what's your answer? Very good! Electrical socket. And last but not the least, how about an air conditioner? 
Yes, you. What's your answer? Correct. <laughs> Electrical socket. Very good. All right. It looks like you're enjoying the topic. Now let's proceed to the uses of electricity. Many objects around us need electricity to work. Without electricity, these objects will not be able to work. Objects that need electricity to work are called electrical equipment. Air conditioners and electric fans need electricity to work in order to keep us cool. Electricity is also used in music players, television sets, and laptops to provide us with entertainment. Electricity is also used in schools. The lights, fans, and computers in schools need electricity to work. Okay, are you still with me? Okay, it's nice to hear that. And because of that, let us have a short activity. The pictures on the next slides show some objects around us that use electricity. Use the words in the table given on each slide to complete the sentences. Are you ready? Okay. Okay, number one. Electricity is used in an electric blank to blank bread. So, what's your answer? I'll give you 10 seconds to think about it. Go! Your answer is poster and toast. Correct? Let's read it together. Electricity is used in an electric toaster to toast bread. Next one. Electricity is used in an electric blank to blank food into thinner pieces. Timer starts now. Again, let's read it together. Electricity is used in an electric food processor to slice food into thinner pieces. Last one. Electricity is used in an electric blank to blank dust and dirt. What's your answer? Timer starts now. Okay, let's read it again. Electricity is used in an electric vacuum cleaner to remove dust and dirt. And that is the end of our activity. Well done! So now let's move on. Electric power stations use natural resources such as coal and oil to produce electricity. These resources take a long time to form and cannot be replaced quickly when they are used up. The more we use them, the less we will have for the future. When we base electricity, we are also wasting these resources, so it is important for us to conserve electricity. Are you conserving electricity? Okay, you should. These are some ways to conserve electricity at home. When we are in our own room, we can carry out some simple actions to conserve electricity. First, at night, Sleep with the lights off. 
If there's a need for some light, use a small night lamp. Okay? Next, use energy-saving bulbs. These bulbs use less electricity but produce enough light. Next, and last but not the least, switch off all electrical equipment that are not used and when we are leaving the room. We can also help to conserve electricity when using electrical equipment in the kitchen. First, switch off the lights when they are not in use. Next, use electrical equipment that switch off automatically. That's why we have timers in our appliances. Next, do not open and close the door of the refrigerator unnecessarily. Each time the door is open, more electricity is needed to cool the refrigerator again. Breaking news! Apo is electrocuted as he lifts receiver from telephone. Fatal fire sparks flee over sockets. Oh, sorry! I'm doing multitasking. I'm watching a TV and making this PowerPoint for you, class. I just watched that news and it's so bothering. So as you can see, electricity can harm us if we are not careful when using it. We can avoid those accidents by using electricity safely. You better don't do the following. Touch switches with wet hands? Oh no! Overload a socket with too many plugs? Don't do it! Make sure that electrical equipment have plastic or wooden handles before using them. And last but not the least, check electrical equipment regularly for exposed wires. Do not ever try to repair any electrical equipment. Get an adult or an electrician to do it for you. And that's the last part of our lesson. And again, let's have a quick glance. Again, electricity can come from batteries and electric power stations. Batteries can be used in handphones, laptops, and cars while electric power stations can be used in air conditioners, television sets, refrigerators, and many more. Electricity must be used safely by not using damaged electrical equipment, not overloading electrical sockets, not touching switches with wet hands, and not using electrical equipment without protective parts such as wooden or plastic handles. Electricity can be conserved by switching off electrical equipment that are not in use, using energy-saving bulbs, and using electrical equipment that switch off automatically. Imagine, Imagine you learned all about this. I'm so proud of you. Now get your science trivia, open it on page 90, and answer self-check. You can do it. Goodbye.